a lip balm has been my lifeline no matter where i go how many of our bags i carry i always need to carry a lip balm with me because i wouldn't classify my lips to be very dry but just to make me comfortable and to make me smile all the time i need a lip balm even i need my lipsticks and i'm always excited to discover new forms new packaging new smelling you know the levels of moisturization is varied in different brands i'm going to feature some of my favorites some misses some hits just stay tuned i'll take you right through it Hi, I'm Aparna Ganesh, and I welcome you back to my channel, Joy Geeks. If you're new here, I create beauty and wellness content, and I am always happy to have my videos coming up on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Fridays is a live time where I have a lot of fun interacting with all of you. Today's video, as I said, is about lip balm. See, I'm going to feature different ranges. It's all going to be from affordable to some very expensive ones. The first one is this really pretty packaging from Nykaa. It's called. Nika Lip Crush Macron Lip Balm. It's a lip balm pot or a twist up, right? This is a lip balm pot. I have been using it, and honestly, I really like the very faint smell this has, and um, it's not overtly strong kind of a perfume, and it's not very strong moisturization as well. I will say it it moisturizes your lips decently, but not something that's too intense. So it will take care of my lips for a few hours, but not longer than that. But I would still say that I really like this. This uh, cost two forty nine for eight grams, and I think it's very cute packaging. So I got one of it because I really wanted to have one. They have plenty of colors in this, so you can check that out. I would, I like this. The next one is something that if you just need to have a few, I can't say one because there are quite a few that I do like. But this really, really moisturizes and. When I do my lip swatch videos, I definitely make sure I apply something like this, which is super hydrating for the lips, uh, and I can keep it all night. And that is from Laniege. It's called the Lip Sleeping Mask. This is a smaller box. I think I'm not sure you get it here now, but you get a bigger one for 500. I think it's completely worth it. The packaging is very simple. It's very cute. The fragrance is the fragrance is like bubble gum. But I like that it's cute, and I think it takes forever to get over. I normally, honestly, prefer uh, the lip stick, like the the bullet kind of lip balms. But quite a few of them I have now is that uh, is in a pot form. But because I'm home mostly and working from home, I can clean my hands and use it, so that's okay for me. This is that one product uh, I will say is very very deeply moisturizing. This is definitely great. It's worth your money. So if you're looking for something if you have very very like desert like lips of during winters you will love this. The next one I'm featuring is something that has a fabulous packaging, something that I would like to especially when I'm on the move. This is the lip balm I carry and that is from Kiko Milano. This is the Kiko Milano colored uh, lip balm in 06 Blackberry. To be very honest, see it costs 690. Uh, for three grams, is it worth the money? Well, I would say for the packaging, yes, it is because it's very convenient. It's good for me to travel around if I'm outside and I want to wear a lip balm. I don't have to worry about my hand being clean. I don't like to dip my uh, finger in the pot, and I love this packaging. So I think it's worth it. When this gets over, I would like to go and get one more. And see, they they have this locking system. Yeah, they have this locking system which works very well. And uh, I have featured this in um, the different formulas of Kiko that I love. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I'll share that link above. You can check those. I think I featured this in that. About the moisturization, the main thing, uh, yeah, again, it's not intense. It takes care of you for a few hours, and then you will need to reapply. And I'm okay with that. But uh, it is, it will look very glossy. Even uh, uh, Laniege will look glossy on your lips. Some of the lip balms which I will share with you gives a matte finish. It does not. uh add too much gloss on your lips so this is uh, definitely a hit for me the next one i think is a super hit because it is in a stick format it is very inexpensive it is from one of my favorite brands and it also has a little tint which actually shows on me what i'm talking about is faces canada epic lips 
I simply love this. It's only one ninety nine, and you know that Faces has a lot of discounts regularly, and it it is this kind of a twist up, and the color kind of shows on me, which is nice. And they have more shades. Actually, they have a chocolate one as well, which I love. Yeah, it has a faint fragrance. The chocolate one also has a nice fragrance, and I think for the cost, it's like a steal. Because this is intense moisturizing. If you're on a budget, and even if you're not, actually, I will recommend this to you because it is so sleek. It is very cute, and it is very effective and very functional. And uh, full points to this. The next one is NYX. It is this is everything lip oil. This is eight ml for five hundred bucks. This has been a lifesaver. It has this wand. It is an oil formula, and I think this beats. some of the really high end lip oils as well so when i say lip balm i'm featuring all the products that i love which is extremely hydrating for the lips and this definitely tops the list this is a mind blowing product and i have gifted this to many of my friends and they have come and thanked me and hugged me for you know introducing this beauty into their life and this is a, a life transformer because the amount of comfort that you get with it If you're somebody who likes to just put some clear gloss and go on, you will like this because it does, you know, look nice and shiny on the lip. So it works on multiple levels like that. I really think this is one of the best products that I have from NYX. All the product details, links, everything will be in the description box. The links are affiliate uh, links, which means that if you click on the links and purchase something, I do get a little commission from them, but it doesn't charge. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and that would be your way of supporting the channel. So uh, you can click on the link below, or if you really want to make sure, and the and the links expire. So if you really want to make sure, you know your purchase gives me a little fee, you should always click on the link from a latest video. that is the way the next one i have is an indian brand they did send me a couple of things but this is what i really love it's arata's lip balm this is only for 249 for 10 grams this has that tea tree some kind of a mint some some beautiful oils that i can smell and this feels divine on the lip it is extremely moisturizing i think this is full paisa vasool it's a it's a simple cute box that performs very well and it has a lot of those signs of cruelty free i can't even read that right now but uh this does well on my lips and i heavily recommend this one to you this is an indian brand you know what you must uh, be supporting for sure so if you haven't tried it you could you know go ahead and definitely give this one a shot the next one is an expensive one and it is kind of a miss It's I don't know how to call it a miss because I do enjoy how it looks. Okay, let me share with you first. This is Too Faced. This is their peaches and cream lip balm. It looks phenomenally cute. I really love it. I love the fragrance as well. It's it's peach and when I smell it, I I don't know. I think just for that I would like to have this. And it looks great on my vanity, but this costs 17 150 bucks. I think this is a mini bottle. I haven't seen the bigger size but for a 15 ml bottle it costs 1750 but it doesn't moisturize as much I wish this was deeply moisturizing and then I could have said that yes it's a high end lip balm and it looks great the packaging is great and it's deeply moisturizing so you should go get it if you are somebody who likes to have these cute kind of bottles then you can go get it I got this free I think with you know when you purchase a few things I got this free and i really enjoy it just the smell of it is pesa vasool for me but uh, should you go and purchase this i will not say that that is the best thing i mean it's expensive which is why i'm saying if you have a lot of money and you want to go pamper yourself go ahead moving on to the next brand which is something that i have been loving i have been talking about in the last few months because i did try it for a few months and that is juicy chemistry this is the lip balm which is called blood orange and rose hip organic lip balm this is meant for pigmented lips i have been trying it but i haven't tried it enough to see a result or i haven't observed enough honestly to tell you that oh it did reduce the pigmentation but it is very well moisturizing 
I like the brand and I think if they are saying that this is meant for pigmented lips and it will reduce it, it probably will do that. I I don't know, I somehow have that faith in the brand. So, and this is for 350 bucks and uh, for 5 grams. Just remember, uh, Juicy Chemistry doesn't use preservatives. So most of their products you have to use within 6 months when you open it. And uh, But I really like it. I like this product. Yeah, it has a very different fragrance, very organic feel to it, which I love. I love these kind of fragrances and uh, I will recommend you to try this out if you have it. The next one is again an Indian brand that I have absolutely loved their clothing line. And then they also have some of these skin products. But from the skin products, I love this lip balm especially. It's Fab India's lip balm. This is in Kiwi Lip Butter. And this is only 135 for 5 grams. And you know, it's a very different uh, fragrance. Kiwi is something I didn't have, so I went and got it. It is very well moisturizing. This does take care of the lips for a good amount of time. And uh, it's very cute. You should try this if you haven't. And especially, and even if it's not about you being on a budget, it's genuinely a good product. So why not? You know, it's only 135. I think it's a very, very big hit. The next one is one of the oldest lip balms I've had. And I'm sure a lot of you have it as well. That is Nivea's lip balm. This is the original one. I feel that this is the most moisturizing amongst all the other variants they have with different colors and different flavors. Nothing moisturizes as deeply as this does. This is um, not matte in its appearance. This will uh, make your lips shine, but it moisturizes pretty well. And this costs 140 for 4.8 grams. So when you're traveling and you don't want to you know, be bothered about cleaning your hand, this is what you could get. And like I said, it's only 140. It is such an olden, oldie, but a goodie kind of a product. It's an evergreen product. So, but I'm very happy. I've shown you a lot of new ones also that I have tried. And this is also a hit. For me the next one is lip smacker this brand honestly i have been using for a really long time i'm so glad it is available in india now and you get this in different uh, you know variants in different flavors what i have is a whole um, you know kit full of uh, uh, different flavors which i love there's vanilla there is grapes there is like I said, Fanta Coke, all of those things. I am not a big uh, Coke drinker, but the, the you know the the tube looks very cute. So that's wonderful. I'll try to include images. But I'll tell you why this is a really big favorite of mine. First of all, this costs one ninety nine for four grams of this uh, bullet. Uh, this is a favorite because it's extremely matte, extremely moisturizing, completely matte. So I don't have to worry about it looking too glossy or you know, like when you need to, uh, it's not waxy, it's not slippery. Sometimes when I just want, uh, when I'm wearing a matte lipstick and I want to just dab a little lip balm, this is what I use because it also has color on it. So what happens is that if I'm wearing a pink lipstick, I don't like a white uh, lip balm showing traces of the lipstick. I hate that. So I, you know, I can do that on this and then I can just wipe off the top. Anyway, I still do that. But I love this. Uh, this is definitely one of a, my very, very old hits in lip balms. And I'm so glad to share it with you. And uh, also, this is not too expensive, right? It's just $1.99. I'm sure it's cheaper in the US. But this is a fab product. The next one I'm showing you is, again, an Indian brand, which is doing so well. I mean, this product is doing so well for me. It's Anor. It's a Choco Caramel Lip Balm. This they had sent to me along with a couple of things and this really stood out for me because again, this smells great. It is really smelling like chocolate caramel. I love this and uh, this costs 250 rupees for 15 grams. Very, very, very moisturizing. And it has a matte finish to it. Pretty much matte and very, very moisturizing. So I really like this product. So when you want a chocolate flavor, you can uh, you can get this. Now I have featured so many of them. Uh, would I say anything is a really a miss? I feel that I've shared with you what is intensely moisturizing, what is 
decently moisturizing what is only little moisturizing so nothing is a really uh, a big miss for me except i think uh, this one because it's extremely expensive from too faced other than this i feel that all of them i love for different reasons yeah there are uh, some which is a chocolate flavor some which is organic some which has uh, a mint flavor this is a lip oil so i have shown you different ones different formats that i have been loving so you can pick based on what you like and i'm happy to have shared this because when i am showing you so many lip swatches lip balm ka ek video to banta hai where i have condensed from the lot more lip balms that i have tried i'm just showing you the ones that i really really liked and uh, do you like this video do you want me to do this more often let me know and do not forget to hit the like button if you've liked this video meet me every monday wednesday and fridays for the videos i am so kicked about reading your comments and uh, you know responding to them and team joy geeks is the hashtag I'm very happy to feature your comments on screen as well. It makes me feel that I'm including more of you, you know, with me in the video. So I love doing that. So if you want to get featured, please do add Team uh, Joy Geeks hashtag. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Tell me whatever you want to watch. I'm more than happy to.